so this is another video of my build this what you're looking at is a replacement where the arm usually hooks in this um, what do you call it single speed tensioner is kind of at about the best possible position it can reach is up to under here so it only gives only gives a semicircle of uh, half the sprocket basically with but what you can see is I've gotten a lot more chain wrap by shifting it up and forward it would be possible to still use this if I could fabricate a longer version of that but I don't really see the point if this system is going to work it would be nice to replace the washers on one side at least because they're kind of bending a little bit and it's it's kind of just a makeshift made out of all the nuts and old nuts and bolts that I've got lying around there's just enough clearance it is possible that that could hit down there but it's very tight as it stands now and the clearance is fine um, I'm lucky that I've got this dropout a removable dropout which is flat so and parallel to uh, where you usually screw it in so it keeps the same line and the curve here kind of holds it basically it's just uh, four washers the arms actually got holes in it so and the width is just just right um, and it's in, at its closest settings so it's got quite a lot of trouble as you can see that's a lot of slack there and sure I could put something here at the front I have been playing with something like this I don't know maybe on the chain stays pushing up it's the line is hard to get straight I could connect to the bottom here there's a hole something but I'd be scared if this got jammed in and and did worse than actually doing good it would be nice to have some sort of tension I might look at another system for that so yeah that's how how my line looks you can see how it pushes back there's clearance there um, it's probably more ground clearance as well around that area I'm also trying to work on this curve in the bent tensioner here I just realized that the Pedro tool is the same that's used for these these points here to hold the bracket from moving which were actually loose that's tightened up a little bit just by using my hands I can't get the Pedro tool on the insides there and I can't get into it there either unless I take off everything um, same here I might be able to get a little bit of movement but there'd be a lot of removals and stuff I don't really kind of want to do right now so I'm kind of wondering if if it were if it were possible if this was shifted inwards or whether it's already a straight line um, yeah it's, th this is my biggest problem now I, I tried tightening this nut while this was loose to bend it back upwards but I don't know if this nut is supposed to be down against the bottom part on, on the other side it looks like it has to be on the bottom part oh sorry over here <laughs> it has to be on the bottom part it doesn't look like it's been welded in there um, it would be nice to maybe have two nuts in there to stop the bending give it more strength from bending because it bends uh, this is this was this was caused mate by the um, grub screw that came out so yeah this is my, my biggest problem now not being able to get everything straight and lined up as as the biggest problem uh, yeah and as you can see I've removed the uh, cover for now because it just continues to keep touching because of the wobble and I just don't have enough clearance there to do much else than that uh, yeah apart from that I also pulled the green wire out of my cycle analyst 
plug and have gone directly in now to the CA. Oh, sorry, the green the green wire has been soldered directly to the throttle into the controller. So now it actually works. My settings are getting pretty cool. I just don't have a charger, and I'm just sick of pulling this all all apart to to charge it. I'm hoping it arrives this week because I'm losing patience big time. Yeah, so. Do you want a little turn on the throttle a little bit? Oh no, I don't have my spring on. Let's see if, if there's a problem. Let's see, can you see a wobble?